if you carve out this picture for yourself of what you want your day to look like, and it doesn't include spending probably at least a third or half of your day with your people, then you might not actually want to be a leader. <laughs> How do you become a deliberate leader? What is the process in your mind that people can actually go make the impact that they're wanting to make and to do it deliberately? The biggest thing that leaders can do is to do some self-work and have some self-awareness mm. about who they are as an individual. What are the examples that you've had of leaders in your history? Do you want to emulate them or are they behaviors that you've seen and encountered that you don't want to replicate. And take the moment to kind of define for yourself, who is that leader you want to be? You know, how do you want your team to perceive you? What do you want your days to look like? And even more than that, you know, if you carve out this picture for yourself of what you want your day to look like, and it doesn't include spending probably at least a third or half of your day with your people, then you might not actually want to be a leader. <laughs> you know, being an individual contributor, you get to spend a lot of alone time, you know, sure you get to collaborate with others periodically, but as a leader, your people need to be taking up the majority of your calendar every week. And there's a variety of other work that you need to do as a leader to like unpack your own kind of unconscious bias, the assumptions that you have about what performance looks like. And it's really a constant and continual body of work to reflect, learn, be coached, try things out. I think it's so important, that, that whole notion of doing the work for yourself. So you use the word deliberate leader. The word in my world is you want to become a predictable leader because people want to know what the rules of the game are. And I need to know that the rules that we played by yesterday are still good today. And that creates an environment of performance where there's trust there's community. And yet when you don't have that whole deliberate or predictable focus in on here are the results that I want to create. And here's how I do that. I say it a little bit differently, which is when you align your vision, your values, and your actions, you create an opportunity for fulfillment, right? And so it's your life on your terms. I'm showing up as the leader that I want to be supporting my people in a way to unlock performance that they never thought was possible before. And that becomes super fun because as you said, the individual contributor role is being the rock star at the work that you're doing. It's doing the doing.